peek like a pro. Have the fastest joystick. This layout helps you gain better control over your movements and actions using four fingers. With this design, you can shoot faster and more accurately while simultaneously moving and switching weapons. Your reactions in high pressure situations will improve, giving you an edge in close combat. By using this layout, you'll experience the feeling of a pro player and quickly rise to the top ranks. Are you ready to elevate your skills? Watch our tutorial video and get started. First, Enter one of your layouts, then click here. Next, select the featured option and choose four finger from there. Now move the teammate name options down and resize them smaller. After that, enlarge the shooting option on the left side. Now you can shoot much faster and more comfortably. Remember, this shooting option doesn't move with touch, which is great because it allows for better recoil control of the scopes. Next, place the smaller additional options like the mic, loudspeaker, settings, and others on the left side next to the shooting option, ensuring they don't interfere. Then, move the options for entering, sitting in, and exiting the vehicle to the center of the screen for easier access. This is very helpful, because when they are arranged this way, you can quickly jump left and right from the vehicle. To jump left, tap this, then quickly tap this to exit, tap this. Repeat this to confuse the enemy. You might think that the I option is useless, but that's not the case. Place this option here for easy access. Then set the zoom and cancel options on the left side and make them the largest size. It's very important that the zoom is set to hold mode so you can quickly target different enemies. Additionally, having the zoom option on the right side is great because it makes it easier to aim. It's better not to use the shooting option on the right side. Next, rearrange the options for reload and medkits to avoid interference, allowing you to play faster and better. One very important option is crouch, which allows you to sit down. Set this and the three other options to size 125 and arrange them neatly from top to bottom. The crouch option is very useful in close combat, meaning you can sit and stand to avoid getting hit. Also, when you shoot an enemy at a distance, crouching reduces your recoil. You can quickly shoot enemies from behind cover without getting hit. The prone option is also important, especially when there are many enemies. To have two jump options, set jump climb to separate. This allows you to climb walls. And with this option, you can shoot enemies behind walls since you can't go over the wall with this option. Arrange the less frequently used options in the same way. Move the FPP options to the right side. Set the joystick to size 130, and then set the peaks to size 200. Position them below the other options for easy access. Also, slightly enlarge your inventory option. It's very important to set the peaks to hold mode and disable the peak and open scope option. The FVP options are very easy to use here. And are quite functional, especially when you're in a room, as your head can block your view. In this situation, you can use the FPP options to control all three doors. The I option is useful for throwing grenades at a distance. When you pull the eye down, you can throw the grenade much farther. Additionally, use this sensitivity for yourself. And 
here are all the settings for this controller. Next, I'll share the sensitivity code and the control code with you. If the code doesn't work, please leave your mobile model in the comments. Also, don't forget to join the Telegram channel for new codes and updates. Thank you.